we've got some really nasty weather. We just got a huge gust. Whew. I shut down the wind generator. It was blowing really fast, too fast, and the canopy has blown off and it's just tearing itself apart right now. Uh, our canopy's shot. Uh, Clark went to help another boat with the project. I'm here by myself. And I can't figure out which line to let down the canopy. Um, it's, it's in the back of the boat. It's not tearing anything apart. I'm gonna see what I can do, but uh, yeah, our canopy's trashed. Winding up in the radar or the solar panels. Okay. The canopy was blown away, and I don't know how to let it down, so I just took a loose sheet. Maybe you can see right there. I took a loose sheet and just wound it around, try to keep the darn thing in one spot at least it was gonna tear the uh let's see it's gonna tear this uh solar panel off the radar clark is out clark doesn't have a radio i can't find him on 6-8 but the wind generator is tied down and i didn't cut my head off and uh i saved the canopy what's left of the canopy and uh i just shut the boat down just keep the water out Whew. i think i might pass out from adrenaline well, all right. Okay, two. Hey, Blue Heavens, up one. Up one. Hey, Jeannie. Do you need help? I think I've got it under control. Um, the wind came up and I heard a huge crash outside, and our canopy that runs the full length of our boat just like tore itself apart and was hanging from the lazy jacks and ripping and tearing all over the place. I thought it was going to hit something or ruin something, but I grabbed a loose sheet and I wrapped it all around it to keep it tied down anyway, because uh, I can't handle it by myself. And I got the wind generator shut down without cutting my head off, so I think I'm okay until Clark gets back. Okay, because we're close. We can come help, but um, yep. All right. See, I think you've got it under control. Congratulations. I think I did. I think I did okay. All right. If uh, Clark, of course, didn't take a radio with him, but if you see him, um, let him know that I'm okay. Will do. Um, I'm going to hang out on seven, uh, seven nine with you, just in case you need help. Call out. Thank you, Jeannie. Uh, temperatures back to seven nine. Seven nine. All right. That's a good view. What just happened? The wind came up. Chris Parker. I said he's paranoid and uh, too extreme, but uh, we did get some probably 30 knot gusts and the wind generator was going really fast. I managed to secure it. I managed to secure it. Uh, you have to turn it around to get the blades to stop and then you have to tie it down and boy was it trying to rip the string out of my hand. I thought I was going to cut my head off, but I survived. And then uh, I was able to secure what's left of our canopy. It has these big aluminum holes in it. And uh, they were flying all over, and of course they're attached to the lazy jacks, which go all the way up to the top, so it was just putting stress on so many different things. And um, I was debating, do I let it down? Do I put it, because then the things are in the water, and I just didn't know. Should it go back up? Should it go down? And I decided the best thing was to just get it to stay put, and out of any mischief of getting caught in lines or anything, it was very close to trying to rip the solar panel off of our radar, so I was able to use my strength to get it off and uh, just hug around all of the uh, metal poles and secure them. So luckily I had my hair up, luckily I was wearing clothes, and uh, yeah, um, that's it. So come back Clark, and uh, Clark always says he does the hero jobs, I kind of feel like a little bit of a hero. Um, but boy, um, would have been nice to have Clark here. Whew. That's all. That's what happened. I'm safe. Everything's good. I don't know that I could have done anything differently. I had a panic moment. 
but I used my brain and I figured it out. And uh, when Clark gets back, I'm sure we'll uh, let the canopy down properly and put it away and see what's left, what we have to do. We were going to build a new canopy when we got back to Florida. So, hey, that's an easy decision now. <laughs> Just to show you how big that wind was, we've got all these boats in our bay and uh, half of them are re-anchoring right now because they all got blown in different directions and they're all uh, yelling at each other and uh, yeah, I'm glad none of them were upwind of us, but nasty blow, nasty blow. Clark just got back. You did exactly, exactly what you could have done. Had you known to release the halyard, you could have laid it on deck and it just would have been easier for you. I was but, afraid it was going to knock me over. Oh, I'm so proud of you. That must have been hard to wrestle, to tie up that high. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I come around the corner and I go, oh, there's Temptress, okay. Uh, what the hell is the boat behind us doing? Wait a minute, that's our boat. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what was going on until I got closer. We bent one of the pipes, but we could bend it back if we want to fix this awning, and we might, but we definitely need a new cloth and a whole new awning. That was in the plans, so no problem. Uh, and you got the wind generator stopped all by yourself in heavy wind. That can be a challenge. So, cool. The uh, new regulator will have a switch down below. Hit the switch, it'll just stop itself. I like that feature. Yeah. <laughs> so we were dragging too. Oh. Uh, let me just digest this here, the bearing. Yeah, we're dragging. You dragged about, probably about uh, 150 feet only. Jeez. So, a lot was going on. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're so close to the rocks now. Mm -hmm. So, what, what, what are the, the order of safety? What do you protect first? Myself. The people. Then the, uh, then the awning. So you should have had an eye out for the yacht, but the yacht took care of herself. Mm -hmm. So when all that emergency's on, you want to look at the shore, line some things up, so that later on when you look, you go, hey, we're moving. Mm -hmm. and, but <laughs> everything turned out great, and uh, man, you did a great job, Emily. You took charge. You, uh, beating around, it could have caused all kinds of damage. Yeah, yeah. And well, the wind almost... generator could have caused all kinds of damage to itself and other things, too. Yeah, yeah. You've got those well in hand. Yay! Yay Gold star! <laughs> like a lot of shredding. Let's look over. Fourth five. You got it right off. Yeah, I think we're done with the awning for this season. Too bad. Hot weather's coming. Heavier aluminum, so yeah, check uh, out this pink right there. Yeah, oh, it's all bent out. Next one could have plenty heavier aluminum, but we learned. Yeah, yeah. I think we deserve some steak and eggs for lunch.